Uh, ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite performers, Souk, of all time. We met him during the pandemic, John D. Domenico. I mean, when <laughs> listen, when, when you need a guy to play Donald Trump, this is your guy, Souk. I mean, he does it all. Uh, when you need a guy to play Mike Myers, you call him. Dr. <laughs> Phil. Yeah, a best friend of the Howard Stern Show. Peter Falk. The Sopranos, uh -huh. Tony and Tina's wedding. This guy's done it all, and he makes you laugh. Take a look. They let me set a table up in the back so I can sell my Dr. Phil books, DVDs, T-shirts. Hello, everybody. It's me, Austin Meineke Powers, baby. Yeah! Now, I would like to close tonight by saying thank you. Uh, you know, I asked for an appearance fee tonight, which I always do. I always ask for an appearance fee. I asked for $5 million, and Danny signed off on it. Thank you, Danny. But I am going to donate that $5 million to my favorite charity. It's called Billionaires Without Borders. <laughs> it makes it possible for billionaires and high-end millionaires. You see that? I'm very inclusive. Makes it possible for us not to come in contact with poor or unattractive people. It's an incredible organization. It really is, I have to tell you. Suki, it's huge. <laughs> huge. Huge, it's so big. Johnny D. <laughs> Domenico. In studio. Whoa. Hello, everybody. So look at this. There's like 5,000 people here. It's incredible. <laughs> you know, the press is going to say, like, there's two people on camera. Lies. All lies, folks. It's all lies. A lot of people here. A lot of people. <laughs> believe me, believe me. Welcome uh, to our studio. Welcome to our living room. This is great. This is such a great set. I love all the Emmys. Can I just take one? Yes. yes. Just, just one. Five fifty to go. on, on <laughs> StubHub. We'll sell it to you. <laughs> Johnny, listen, man. You, I think you know it, it. It's a blessing in disguise. A, Donald Trump becoming president. Right. And B, the whole pandemic. Yeah. With with all the craziness that he put us through. That I mean, you just exploded. I I. I thought the pandemic was going, to, it actually worked in my favor. Because I already had the White House set right. in my house. <laughs> I started doing cameos left and right, doing corporate stuff left and right, doing the other characters, because, you know, I still I had already established my relationship with Stern, yeah. was doing my call ins from my audio studio, had the green screen studio. So I was one of the few people, I was kind of in the right place at the right time for the pandemic. Which, it's just, it's you know, And I know a lot of people went through a lot of, it, it was terrible for a lot of people. Oh, yeah, I no, just happened to be in the in the right place at the right time. Well, let's talk about your Las Vegas show. Yes. I mean, congratulations thank on you, that, thank first you. of all. Yeah. Huge. It was absolutely, you know what it's called? It was called the Tremendous Trumptacular. <laughs> Tremendous Trumptacular. We had a great, we sold out. It was great. We had some amazing Las Vegas performers. Ann Martinez, very well-known singer in town. Um, Kelly Vaughn, who did, did her bit as Dolly Parton. I had my sexy Secret Service, who are the double-time twins. The double-time twins. Double-time <laughs> twins. Not the uh, double spearmint no, twins. You, you would think, but they, they kind of like, you know, <laughs> jumped off from that. But they were my sexy Secret Service. They're great dancers. They did an opening number, and then that I did, I did like a... 35-minute set as Trump, and I brought down the house. It was 50, 60,000 people there. It's really incredible. <laughs> you saw 50, 60,000? At least, at least. You <laughs> know what I mean? The but place the press, only holds the, four. And I know. The press <laughs> said it was only 100 people. Lies. All lies. <laughs> Scum. They were in the back of the house. Terrible people. <laughs> Terrible people. I yeah. love the first. Yeah. I think the first time I saw you online, uh, was when you when you the, the one of my favorites is when you do when you, when you had your your COVID test. Yes, it was the yes best, the best, best, yes best negative. The mo ever. It was the most negative test in the history of tests. It was incredibly ne even the doctors even the doctors we've never seen anything this negative. It was so negative it was practically positive. It was incredible. And you know who saw that that uh, that's what that's what Howard Stern when Howard saw. puts you in. And okay. then he oh then that's God. how I became his his Trump on the show. Okay, that's yeah. that's what I want to know. What is it like to be on the Howard Stern show? Yeah, early in the morning yeah. for you, man. But but to get the call from Howard Stern, we're all big fans. We love <laughs> Howard, we love Robin. What's it like to be on the show? It's so what happened was I wake, you know, I'm on the West I'm in Las Vegas, so I'm the West Coast time. And my phone's buzzing. And I get up and like Howard Stern's talking about you. Howard Stern's talking about you. Like, How is he talking about me? <laughs> what is he talking about? That video he saw, right. he played it. 
And they said, we got to talk to this guy. This guy, John D. Dominico, is fantastic. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm, you're, like, you're, like, you're like, when these things happen, you know, you have to like get right on it. Like, how do I, how can I get to Howard Stern? Who do I know as Howard Stern? Who do I know? And I'm like, and I'm you know, walking in circles in my office and I'm thinking, well, wait a minute. I'm represented by Don Buckwald. I, I'll just call Don. Say it, yeah. 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 There and it was one of those things. They, they represent me for a lot of, I was doing a lot of Trump stuff for them in the animation and voiceover department. And I had done over Christmas, the, the person who's actually running the whole operation, um, she called me up and said, would you mind doing a voiceover uh, for me as Trump for my husband? And I said, voiceover? I'm shooting a video for you. <laughs> And she thought that, and I, you know, I just wanted to do that to her as a thank you. And because of that, I get a call from Don, uh, an email, not a call, but I get a call from the team. But uh, Don sends an email to Howard's team. Howard's team calls me, and that was it. And bingo. Yeah, it was yeah. so incredible. And then it was like, boom, a it launch was, pad. It's been so, it's an amazing, to do it, and to, like friends from grade school. <laughs> Oh my God, I heard you on Howard Stern. You know, or we've been listening to Stern. Cause you know, we, I'm from the Philadelphia era, but we were getting Stern. He was coming down on AM, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like in the 80s. So I we remember were fully it. aware of him even before he broke nationally. And then he came to the Philadelphia market and the next market and then went national. So to be on the show as someone who listened and laughed, I'm thinking, I can't believe I'm on Howard Stern. It's gotta be wild. <laughs> and right? I, when I log on, I'm with Howard and I'm with Robin. I can see it on the, and it's, I'll take a screenshot, not to use, just to remind just for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Thanks, Robin. And you're in and full the, Trump garb for the for the show. Yeah, right? we were, yeah, we were. I got away from that. I was like, because that was adding on an extra hour in the morning. <laughs> so I was getting up like 1 30, 2 30. I said, can we just, can we use it? They were like, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Because Howard liked to see me in full Trump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm in the, um, you know, I've got the cans on and I'm in my little <laughs> studio. Hello, Howard, how are you? Good to see you. You, know, you, look, you look tremendous. What you was know. the, uh, what was the first impression? I see we got, you know, Dr. Dr. Phil up there. Dr. What, what was Phil. The what was the first impression you learned how to do? The first impression was watching um, Ed Sullivan when there was there was really a lot of great impersonators at that time. There was Frank Gorshin and um, John Biner, and uh, I would watch John Biner. And I I grew up in a row home, so you know it's like Brooklyn, but it's you know Philadelphia. Yeah, Philadelphia row home. Philadelphia, Philadelphia yeah. row home. Got it. And uh, I would come out, and my neighbors would be sitting out, and I would do John Biner's act. Now, right here on our shoe. <laughs> The fabulous Garbaccio brothers. Now, mind you, I was five. <laughs> so my neighbor's like, who is this precocious kid? And I say, tonight we've got Girl Scout Troop 625. Girls, stand up and show us your cookies. <laughs> I had no idea what the joke meant at you the time. You didn't know what it meant. They're up and the adults are laughing their heads off. Show us your and cookies. Then I, you know, and then I was doing all the classics, because that's what, who they were doing. I was doing Humphrey Bogart and James Cagney and Jimmy Stewart and and then you know then I was picking up other things like I was watching Columbo as a kid and I go wait a second I think I can do that voice <laughs> Jeez, folks I hate the bum you know <laughs> how'd you get the eyes I did, yeah I was gonna That's say a, well you know everything because I'm an extreme impersonator obviously <laughs> I have to do because I was trained as an actor but I realized if I could do this oh my God. I could just do one eye so if I could do one eye I could do like two to four. <laughs> That way I've got the one eye. I love it. And you don't know where I'm looking. I I'm a little confused. One more thing. You know. He always had the one more thing. One more thing. Oh, by the way. I love that show because yeah. everyone thought he was dumb. Right. And at you know the end, I mean? he got you. Yeah. Lowered expectations. You know. Have you ever met any of the celebrities that you've actually impersonated? Have you met Donald? Have you met Mike Myers? Have, you know, Dr. Ironically, Phil? I have met Trump multiple times. I met him in 1990 when I was doing Tony and Tina's. We had come out of New York, we're in Philadelphia for a year, and then we went to Atlantic City. I met him there, and then I, the very first job I ever had as doing Trump as a voiceover was for him. Um, they, they were doing the boardroom oh, game so in Atlantic funny. City, and I got a call from my, one of my New York agents said, are you doing, are you doing Trump yet? And I said, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've always been fascinated by the guy. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty close to the voice, you know, Northeast, that, you know, a very interesting staccato the way he speaks at that time. And uh, I auditioned and I got it. So I ended up working for him. I um, I was recording in Princeton, New Jersey. Uh, his executives, I think it was like Carolyn Kepcher or somebody, was on the ISDN line. And they the only direction was be meaner. Be, be meaner. I love it. Be meaner. And then two years later, I got into the full Trump regalia 
uh, through Bob Kelly, who did all the Broadway shows on SNL. And I ended up working for them again because Trump had to be on um, Fox and Friends to promote a cross, a cross thing from um, The Apprentice and Embassy Suites. He had done a uniform bit. Wow. So he was unavailable. I came in. Uh, he approved by Trump. And I did the whole the whole bit, and they I had me it. on for like multiple segments. I Who knew it. a couple of years later I'd be on all the time because my friend um, Tom uh, Tom took over. Tom Shalou took over for Greg Gutfeld and was the host of Red Eye, and I had known him for years. So that's how I ended up on Red Eye fifty times. Yeah, that's yeah. It. Yeah, I love but it. Mike Myers, Doctor Phil, Mike Myers, Kramer, is impossible to meet. The oh, yeah. guy, like he lived when he lived in Connecticut, he lived in a compound. The closest I got was his assistant, <laughs> you know. And I also met somebody who was uh, one of the researchers on Doctor Phil. Like this is the closest I've gotten. <laughs> but but Trump's probably more accessible than anybody, anybody else, which is crazy. You stand yeah. at Myers Gate, yeah, baby, <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. Come out and get me your mojo. My major cross major lady. Come on, Mike. Uh, yeah. I love it. That's, so, that's so great. And you do you do a ton of corporate work. Oh yeah. Corporations hire yeah. you to show and do they have you show up as Trump or all the different characters? All the different characters. You know what I usually do, I had per per perfected this my Self, I was always wanted to do multiple characters, so I used to do AT and T's meeting and some of the other large companies. Mako, Auto Body, I've done their meeting for twenty one. Better get Mako. Yeah, <laughs> and they've been they've been great to me. So what I'll do is the opening night, I'll be I'll be Austin Powers, baby. <laughs> and then at the general session, I I might do um, I might do Trump, you know, to go over the the financials. <laughs> then in the afternoon when they do the team building, I'll be Guy Fieri, baby. We'll do a cooking contest, <laughs> another piece of taco grease. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> then another, then we'll do Dr. Phil for the big uh, general session where they do what they, they call like a town hall. When you okay. have the feels. We got to yeah. get the feels and I'm walking to people. <laughs> hey, calm down, okay? <laughs> and then the closing that award show. I was going to say, Lena. You know, you know. So it's perfect. So I love doing like five characters in the course of like three and a half days. It's great for them and it makes me more valuable. And I love doing it. That way it becomes my own like mini show yeah. over three and a half days. Oh, I love it. You're yeah. in New York for a reason as well, yes. right? So tell everybody what you're doing. Well, I'm York. doing another corporate show and I'm doing um, I'm doing Olsen Powers and I'm hosting this corporate event uh, tonight. Well, last night, tonight, and then tomorrow I'm Guy Fieri. I love it. Listen, so, Johnny, before before we go, just give me the give me the ultraviolet light with uh, <laughs> with Trump. I, I, well, I, I have to tell you, you know, I've been thinking about a lot of people think I'm a doctor. A lot of people think I'm a Did you know that? Like, Dr. Trump. Doctor. I said, no, 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 no. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. But I do have some tremendous medical ideas. <laughs> medical ideas. Because, you know, the light. The light. You know what I'm talking about. You put the light up there, the UV light. You know what that is? Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet light. It fights the COVID. It fights the COVID. And the bleach. And then the bleach. <laughs> It works. Believe me, you bleach the lung, you take them out, you bleach them, you put them in, like clean coal. You take the coal, you scrub it down, and then you put it in the furnace. It's, believe me, folks, I know exactly what I'm talking about. No one's smarter than me. Stable genius. Stable genius. Believe me. Believe me. Uh, I love amazing. It. Amazing. <laughs> Where can our fans find you? Oh, you can find me all over social media. I'm currently on TikTok with six million oh, followers. Six million. Six million. We broke out on that. Uh, and Instagram on the Johnny D Show. TikTok on the Johnny D Show. A cameos. Cameos on the Johnny D Show. And I'm very proud to report I'm now the number one rated Trump on Cameo. I have 603 five-star reviews. Wow. Incredible. You know what I mean? So John D. Domenico, you. ladies you, and folks. gentlemen. Thanks for having me on. Nobody, but take us to break as, uh, as, as uh, Whoever. Wayne. As, as we, all right, excellent. <laughs> Hi, I'm Wayne Campbell from Aurora, Illinois. Excellent. Swing. Okay. All right. We'll be right back with Scott and Suki. Suki and Scott and Wayne. Cool. Oh, thank you so <laughs> thank you much. Oh, me. my God. Thank, yeah, you. thank you.